The stop-loss order is a protective order designed to limit the loss or lock profits. Earlier, I executed a trade. You can see that I'm long 200 stocks of JP Morgan. Note the price at which I bought the stocks. Let's take a look at the chart. This is the buying price. I hope the stock price rises. Yet if the price will drop, I want to limit the loss using a stop-loss order. This is the point at which I want to enter a protective order. In the trading window, I will enter the symbol for JP Morgan and then press Enter. I can see the trading data is displayed in the trading window. Now I must type in the number of stocks I wish to protect. I can enter the number of stocks or simply click the P position button and the amount of stocks I have will be displayed in this window. If I want to set a stop loss order for a small amount, for example 100 stocks, I can change the amount using the arrow buttons. I now choose the stop order. I can leave the day status which means that the order will automatically be cancelled at the end of the trading day or if I intend to hold the stocks for longer than the current trading day, I will change the order to GTC, good till cancelled. This means that the order will remain active beyond the current trading day until it's cancelled deliberately. I will leave the day order. In the stop price window, I will enter the protection price. In this case, I decided to enter a stop loss order for 40 cents below the price at which I bought the stocks. Approving the order is performed by pressing the Sell button. I press the button and the order is registered. An important note, make sure that the order was registered in the orders log. If the order was not registered, this means that you made a mistake during the order entry process. Please note, the trigger for activation of the stop order is the buyer's asking price, as displayed in the upper row on the buyer's side, the bid. If the bid price will drop to the stop point, the stop loss order will be executed. Another point to note, a stop order is a market order and this means that the stock will be sold at the best price available in the market at the time. If I want to cancel the order or enter a new order, I can simply click on the X button. If I want to sell the stock, I must first cancel the open order. Now we'll learn how to execute a stop loss order for a stock in short status. Earlier, I executed a short trade. You can see that I'm shorting 300 stocks of Facebook. The minus sign indicates that stocks are in short. Notice the price at which I executed the short. Let's look at the chart. This is the short entry price. In a short transaction, profit is generated if the stock price drops. Yet a loss is created if the price of the stock rises and therefore I'll want to limit the loss if the stock price rises. I'll use the stop loss order to limit the loss if the price rises and reaches this price. I'll enter the Facebook symbol in the trading window and then press enter. I'll type in the number of stocks that I want to protect by pressing the P position button. I'll select the stop order in the stop price window, I'll enter the protection price, which in this case is 30 cents above the price at which I shorted the stock. I'll click on buy to confirm that order and check that the order was registered in the orders log. Thanks for watching.